are watching News on TV, your voice to the people. Good day to all our viewers. My name is Vashi Mashai and welcome to News One TV. Today we are bringing to you an update on the Goodwill Challenge that has been going on around Now Spread. Now the following video clip is to show you what the donations received by Crown National and the Gross Super Spa did in the lives of those who are in need. Enjoy. Good day viewers, you are watching News Horn TV. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Kukule Tunkambule. Today we decided to follow Rudy and Pastor Jacques as they came to um, a cartoon outreach to give a helping hand to the needy, the NPO. And with me I have um, one of the management team. I'm just going to ask her a few questions regarding this NPO. How are you ma'am? Good and you? I'm good, I'm good. Can you please tell us your name? I'm Tarina. I'm here, one of the management here by Cartoon Outreach. We are about 52 people at the moment, kids included. Uh, the amounts can change any time. So we started in 2016. We just thought that uh, since we have the space available on the farm, um, that we just, you know, uh, the Lord just gave, put it on our hearts to help others um, because we have the space and it's just something passionate that we always have been helping others. We, we need the, the donations from the public to be able to feed all these people because we can't do it ourselves. So with the parcels and donations that we receive, it helps us a lot, especially during this time. Basically what we do is if someone lost their work, lost their homes, they come to us if we have space and then we help them get back on their feet. So if they decide, you know, we've got work, we can go back out, get a house to rent, then they go on again. Um, so no, we don't have an age group. We have different ages. <laughs> We're still at Cartoon Outreach and I'm seeing gentlemen here busy building something. So let me just ask them a few questions. Gentlemen, how are you? Oh, sorry. Fine, thank you. Good. Can you tell us your names, please? Uh, it's Johan Fred. It's Tian Yuber. I see that you guys are doing um, a handy job here. What are you guys doing exactly? Uh, we are creating a uh, safe environment for the children to play in. They're not at school currently, so they've got a lot of spare time on their hands. We're keeping them busy. Most of the work that gets done yeah, on the property is with the people that stay here. Yeah. Um, it, it, all of it gets done with the donations and stuff that we get from the community and the people upstairs. So yeah, like yeah, we've we've done quite a bit of work at this stage. Um, we work every day, to, you know, to try to help everybody out. Yeah, because at this stage, everybody's under quarantine. Nobody can go anywhere um, we're trying to help the kids out as well because the kids aren't allowed to go to school at this moment but as soon as the kids are allowed to go back to school they can go to school come back they'll have a safe place to play um, everybody can come enjoy it at stage yeah especially the kids but right now our main project is now for the kids uh, spiritually it's, uh, the streets are a very rough place it's not enjoyable so this is a place for healing a place where you can come you can get your spiritual life back together we support each other we talk about our problems uh, it's a safe environment for us to get creative both things uh, just the streets like I said it's not a very good place the, and this is safety we, all of us here we are struggling so all of us we try to rebuild our lives together um, for, for me the, the best thing for them is that they have to try to get their lives in order um, the street life is not for anybody uh, I, my opinion, honestly, I don't believe people need to stay on the streets. Uh, there are places like this that can help anybody out. Uh, no matter who you are, you can be a full family. There's, there's kids out, there's families out with three, four kids. And they, and they come here for, for, the, for, like you said, for the support from the community and stuff like that because they are struggling. And we don't want to see anybody on the streets, especially kids, because kids don't belong on streets. So they, they can come here, they can learn to be themselves again grow up properly, go to school, and then they know while they're here, they got a place to stay, they got food, and they got a, and, and they got a family that, that tries to help everybody out. This is a drug-free zone, so if people come in here, we re rehabilitate them if they got drug problems, if they got any problems, we try to sort it out here within the family. Yeah. Yeah. 
We just left Cartoon Outreach and now we are at Betty's Haven Orphanage. With me I do have Coco Betty, the wonderful woman who takes care of the home. How are you ma? Fine and yourself? Um, I'm very good, I'm very good. So I'm just going to ask you a few questions. Um, when did you start this orphanage? I started um, 1995, February 10. So how many how many children do you have here? 16. Oh, you have 16. Yes. And um, I see this different ages. So um, what's the limit of the age, that age group that you take? I take from uh, zero dot up. Oh, meaning it's in your bone at a cool and at the same bone and chat. Nya bong and jabuli lena ni bong and jelly bacon. Babelo, ya lumonia lola, pavelu, ya fig and ma vechi, uncle vele. Nya bong aga cool. I'm with Pastor Jacques, the man that God has been using him to do the goodwill, to, to also uh, lend a helping hand to the needy. So now um, I'm just going to ask him a few questions. Pastor Jacques, why did you choose to come to Betty's Haven Orphanage? Well, I'm not the only person doing this. There's a lot of great people that are doing what the Kingdom of God is all about. That is being an extension of the love of Christ to show people that we care. And as we care for people, we are doing the work of the ministry. And it's not the pastors and the priests doing it. We are all ministers of the gospel of the good news of Jesus Christ. I love coming to Betty's Haven because I think uh, Gogo Betty is doing a great job. She's taking care of these children. They are respectful. They are thankful. Every time we come here, they appreciate what we are doing. And I want to challenge anybody else that can help us. The, this is about giving back to our community and making a difference. And if you can in any way help us and assist us, this is one of 10 places that we go to to help people and uh, there's great need and we need to challenge one another to make a difference where we can. These children standing here are not just children. They are uh, people that carry a deposit within their lives and who knows, there might be a president standing here. There might be a great doctor standing here and in giving them food we are sustaining them but also making a difference in their lives for the future as well. Thank you so much. So I'm seeing um, children here. I'm just going to yeah, ask them a bit. Um, as you saw, Pastor Jacques came and he contributed. So what do you have to say to, what message do you have for Pastor Jacques? Thank you very much for blessing us and keep on doing the great job. God will bless you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much for doing all the great work. Um, thanks very, thank you very much for the effort that you made to come here and everything that you did for us. May God bless where they took and provide them with their needs like they do with our needs. Thank you. You heard it viewers, if you give, you are really blessing the people that really need what you are giving. Don't doubt it, no matter how small it is, it does make a change in people's life. Thank you very much for tuning in. My name is Guguletun Kambule. Keep on watching News on TV. We still need a lot of people who will be part and parcel of this movement through their donations. Now for more information, please contact Pastor Jacques on the number on screen. watching news on tv your voice to the people